Hello, besides spanking, grabbing hair, lightly holding her throat, are there other ways to show dominance in a bedroom without crossing a line? Yeah, plenty of ways. Um, throwing her onto the bed. Like if you're making, making out with her beside the bed, just tossing her onto the bed. You're not gonna hurt her, but it's a, it's a show of dominance, it's a show, it's a show of strength. Um, flipping, like flipping her, physically flipping her over between sex positions. Like if you're in, um, if, you, if you're fucking in doggy style, pull out and then grabbing her legs and flipping her onto her back in one smooth motion. Or if you're in cowgirl, rolling her over onto her back into missionary position. Like, like kind of taking the lead and, and doing it in a very, um, not a painful way, not a, not a way that's going to hurt her at all, but in a way that sh clearly shows like physical dominance and men superior strength to her. Um, the ability to manhandle your woman is, is a shine, is a sign of dominance like that. Um, these are very, very basic ways of showing that. Uh, very, very, very safe, basic ways of showing that. Uh, what else? What else could we give you? Yeah, things, things like pinning her hands down by her side like this in like in missionary position. You're not like restricting her movement to, like unconsensually or anything like that. You just you just pinning her hands down like that, like like here, as you're like as you're making out with her and as you're as you're having sex with her. That is a shine of the sign of dominance. Dominance. You can do the same thing in doggy style and pin her hands behind her back. It's another way of doing it. So the hands, I think, something you can you can also do that in cowgirl. If she's on top of you, you can grab her hands and pin her hands behind her own back with one hand. All these little things like restricting movement, restricting her hands, these little things, they're all little kind of psychological uh, uh, buttons you get to push, which show that dominance from, from you to her. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but take what, what do all these things kind of have in common? They have the common that, that they show you, they, there's various things here that like this, because a lot of the stuff you talked about, spanking, uh, grabbing hair, holding her throat these are kind of like more um these are things that are more like pleasurable pain right but the things i just mentioned to you now are more manhandling uh show, and showing dominance that way or restricting her movement and showing dominance that way it's like, well, well, yeah, manhandling and controlling her movement is another way of thinking about it and then restricting her movement is another way of thinking about it so these, are, these are three completely different elements of showing dominance in the bedroom so there you go, there's plenty of, of tools for you to play around with now.